the thing that makes Princeville special is our, what our forefathers endured. Um, they shed their blood, sweat, and tears right on these grounds that we're standing on now. And these are real sacred grounds because this was right after uh, slavery was over. They came over with absolutely nothing but their God-given gifts and talents, and this was swampland. Uh, that's one of the reasons that we flood constantly because we are on swampland. Uh, but they did not complain because they knew there was a better life for them in the swampland versus in slavery. Princeville um, is in, was in a unique place, is in a unique place adjacent to the Tar River and the elevation of the community um, is prone for flooding. So flooding was repetitive as early as the 1800s until 1999 when Harry came, Floyd came and devastated the entire community. The community is still under recovery re um, as a result of Hurricane Matthew in 2016. When the hurricane came, it, it just wiped out. It was total devastation for the kids. It was just really traumatic for them because it took everything they knew and displaced them. The community was very active and vocal in making sure that the school was rebuilt. Um, because I think it would have been easy for them to just send students to other schools and not even have to rebuild. But this is like the hub of the community. The biggest thing was bringing the family home, bringing our culture back in. The town um, feels very fortunate that we can see the long-term relationship, um, the commitment of the project to include the heritage walk and trail, to include the rain um, garden uh, for the Princeville Elementary School, and, and it shows Princeville citizens that there's a true investment, a true commitment, and a true partnership in sustaining Princeville. So having several partners um, working in harmony um, for the best interests of Princeville and protection of Princeville is just like a dream come true. The beauty of the work that we've done with the Conservation Trust and other partners is that we emphasize being resilient um, and not solely focusing on the negative impacts of flooding. And what they have done is just a beautiful uh, rain garden, the trail, and what that does, of course, not only does it help us um, make the floods less severe if it were to occur again, but it's a teaching point for our students to get them involved, to get them knowledgeable about things of that conservation, how important it is, not only for Princeville, but countrywide. If they leave and want to go someplace else, those type things are still going to be important because global warming is real. And if we're going to be successful in the future, if we're going to survive in the future, we have to address those type issues can't wait for it to rain because I wanted to see like okay what does this do like <laughs> and so the first time it did I was like oh my it flooded because like the it was the water seemed pretty high but it absorbed it pretty quickly and then I saw like the plants come to life a little bit more and I was like oh now I don't have to worry that the front of the school is going to flood. To be honest, when they first said we're going to build a trail over there, I was like, okay, all those trees and those woods, okay. This should be interesting, but now I can't imagine that space without the trail. Wow. <laughs> Before we started this, it was uh, covered in poison ivy, debris, brush, uh, bikes, pools, <laughs> uh, basketballs, footballs. Uh, it was completely covered with vegetation and to see the guys come in here and clear this out the way that they did, it was great. What I was impressed by the most were the youth. 
Uh, they dedicated uh, several hours and weeks of their summer uh, to be here to make this happen. And that just shows the commitment that they had toward this project. But just being able to walk the ground of like history, that was just an awesome and amazing experience. And so students read a book, I Am Enough, in their ELA classes, and so then the art teacher got them to do uh, self-portraits. And then um, the NC State group decided, like, we could use these to put in the outdoor learning space. But just being able to see, like, their faces, just, like, it, it really made my heart smile because we did this work for them, and to have that put into the space I think has just been like icing on the cake. We have so many different organizations that called us and wanted to assist and we vetted and made sure that we have people that's coming here that are true to what they're saying. Uh, Conservation Trust lived up to that, that uh, building. Uh, we have told some people no. But we certainly thank Conservation Trust for stay, sticking with us and producing that beautiful trail, producing what they've done over at, uh, at Princeville Elementary and continuing to work with us even after they completed those projects. Uh, so those things that we're doing is making a positive impact not only on the town of Princeville but other communities as well. The town is hoping that we can continue to be utilized as a model and a guide for other communities who are faced with the same struggling um, episodes with flooding or other natural disasters. For us, it's um, an emergency preparedness tool for the community of Princeville. It's given citizens who may feel hopeless, has given them a relief of hope.